Okay guys, this is my first tutorial and I will be showing you how to tint screens like if you go into a cave or something you want the, um, the screen to be a little bit darker so I'm going to show you how to do that today. The first thing you want to do is make a cave of course or a dungeon or whatever, it doesn't matter. You go in and you want to put it somewhere sorry, phone. You want to put it somewhere where your screen, you know, where your character really won't interact with it. And you want to set it to auto run. Um, then you want to put the tint on, which is on the second screen, I mean second page, of your event commands. You can set it to whatever you want. Um, doesn't ever matter. Then you want to turn the self switch A on, make a new page. Uh, then you also want to go um, sorry, blank on it. You want to turn the self switch off. Sorry, it's on the first page. Turn it off, and then second page erase event. This will tint the screen, and then it will take it to the next page, where it will turn it off, erase event, and when you go back in, um, then it will start all over. Um, you want to set this to a parallel process, and if you don't have this part. Um, you will be stuck in an auto like auto run will make you like stand and you won't be able to move. So it's good if you need to have that. And you also want to copy. Go back to your main screen, put it somewhere, and paste it. Um, then you want to delete this taint and add another one, which is just blank. So bring it back to original state and um copy cut and paste it on the top and there you go this will bring it back to its normal state once you come out of the cave so let's try it out Just made a mistake or something. Oh, well, hold on. Up, oh, I forgot the tennis switch on. Simple mistake. And do that to this one too. Sorry for the lag. It's dark. Walk around. Turn that ball. Make it light again. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any, please comment. And if you have any requests, um, send shoot me an email. Okay. Bye.